Hi guys, how are you doing? Happy New Year. How is everybody? I haven't talked to you in ages. I've put up some posts here, but we haven't had a little chat in a while, have we? I hope you're all doing really, really good. And I'm going to help you reset your digestion and also take care of your mood because this time of year, I know it sounds cliche, but it's when it's one of the hardest times for doing that. We've just come off of holiday time where we've had so many treats, right? So you might be feeling a little sluggish. You might be having like some sugar cravings going bonkers, right? It can easily happen because it takes about, about 21 days uh, if you are trying to lower sugar intake before your body actually adjusts to it. And the reality is most of us have like cranked up the sugar at Christmas time, right? So it's challenging, I know. Um, but I find, do you find this though, if you actually make the effort to eat some crunchy greens, like I'm nuts for broccoli, it's one of my favorite things and we've been having a lot of Brussels sprouts lately. It's so satisfying, like the body goes, yes, thank you, green crunchy veg, it's so delicious. Um, so just make that little, just that little bit of effort to get that into you and your body is going to respond and it's going to make it so much easier. Um, but there's a couple tricks that you can do, little tips and tricks I'm going to share with you that's going to help reset your metabolism or like what your digestion is feeling like. And at the same time, we're also going to make sure that we stay happy, happy, happy. Guys, if we've never met before, hi, my name is Alice. I'm the founder of Shine On Society, and I love helping people live their best life ever. So let's do a shot together, okay? And I should pop on, say hi. So let me tell you what oils, we're gonna get a little shot glass like this, and we're gonna put our beautiful doTERRA oils in. So I've got, in front of me here, I've got Digest Zen. It's also called Zen Jest, depending on where you live. Of course, frankincense, um, cinnamon, black pepper, don't let black pepper fool you. It sounds like it might not like be a pretty oil, but it smells so lovely. I love it. And then clementine, which is also absolutely delish. So what I'm going to do is put two drops each into here, except for the cinnamon. I'm just going to aim <laughs> to do one drop. Let's see how I do. Sometimes extra ones sneak out. So one, two. Okay, here comes the cinnamon. Can I do it, guys? It's a little bit of a thicker oil, so probably. Oh, I did it, yay! Black pepper, we'll do. Oh gosh, we got three of those, yippee! <laughs> and clementine. Okay, two of those. And then I'm taking water, so I have water in here. I've been keeping this at the side of my bed, filled with water with some lemon oil in it. It's so good, but right now I have no oil in it, and I'm just gonna do a little splash. See you there? Because we're gonna do it like a quick look. <laughs> did you see that we'll just wipe that in there we go that's lovely <laughs> it's okay I'm just using it topically but I was doing a little swirl to get to get the oils all mixed into the water okay so this is fantastic for helping your tummy do all the right things okay so cheers to our tummy oh my god guys the cinnamon it's a hot oil, but it's sweet and so flipping delicious. And then the clementine in there, ah, so yummy. Please, please, please grab those oils and do a shot if you didn't do it with me right now, okay? Ah, so that's really great for helping our tummy. All of those are supportive to our digestion. Cinnamon, of course, we know is really great for helping balance things out so we're not having big ups and big downs and big ups and big downs, which goes hand in hand with when you've been eating a lot of sugar or a lot of carbs, which is really basically the same thing, right? So I'm going to be, well, I've actually had two shots of that today. Oh my God, it's a little, got a little tingle on the lips, but it's so good. All right, so here's some other stuff I want you to know about though. Um, I want you to be putting oils in your diffuser as well. Now it is so important, like it's always important, but now it's really important because I want you to have your mood staying up and you know, it's dark out and we're a little bit blah. We've come off of the holidays and honestly kind of like not a lot of stuff's going on. And most of us are like kind of staying in the house a lot because of well, the craziness that's going on in the world, right? So these are gonna be super helpful, not only to keep you feeling well and strong, but also gonna be helping you stay in the right state of mind and just, you know, staying happy. So I want you to put in your diffuser, give this a try today. Cinnamon, clove, I'm gonna back up. 
I'm going to tell you a few and you can play with this combination honestly. Cinnamon, clove, lemon, wild orange, peppermint. Peppermint is the oil of the buoyant heart. And clementine. If you want to add in some uh, fir trees, I really love balsam fir, Douglas fir, Siberian fir. Man, they're all great. And those fir trees go with the cinnamon so nice. And it just, it's going to make your house still kind of feel like that holiday season house. Just because the holidays are done doesn't mean our home can't have that beautiful warm aroma. And that's really going to be helpful in the big picture as well. And these are going to be, you know, your, your go-tos. Having that in your diffuser is going to help keep the things out of your house that you don't want in your house so that the living environment that you have is going to make you feel safe and healthy and do all those things that's going to help you stay strong. You get what I'm laying down? Yeah! So play with that combination in your diffuser today. Now I'm going to also tell you about what you can do with a roller. So you can eat your oils, you can have them diffusing in the air, but you can also get yourself a 10 ml roller like this. If you need to know where to get them, just let me know. Uh, different places depending on you know where you are in this world. Where are you in this world? <laughs> right? What countries am I talking to? And make yourself a roller. So here's what I want you to put. This one's like not too many oils. Um, frankincense, of course. Uh, what do I have here? Frankincense, peppermint, and wild orange. That's what I want you to put as your base in here. So 10 drops each. Frankincense, peppermint, wild orange. Then you're also going to add in one of these. You can either add in tea tree or thyme. You choose what you like. Either are a great choice. Again, 10 drops. Then you just top it up with fractionated coconut oil. Let me see. I'm going to reach over here. Oh, there we go. Fractionated coconut oil. It stays liquid all the time. If you happen to live in a really, really, really warm climate, um, you can use the solid coconut oil because it will stay liquid all the time too, right? Um, like people that are living, you know, over by the equator. Who's anyone here living by the equator? You can get away with using the solid coconut oil more often because it just stays liquid all the time. Um, okay. So you've got your little roller going. This is going to be really great for keeping your mood up in a happy place and then also keeping your body feeling strong and resilient and resistant to all the things that you don't want it to have, right? Right. And then you're just going to roll it. Um, this one doesn't have a roller on it right now because it's an empty one. Do I have one handy with a roller? I have a little one here. This is my rose. Oh my God, I love rose. A little roller and you just roll it on your lymph nodes, back of your neck whoop, is a good thing, um, over your chest, up and down your spine, like that, bottoms of your feet, uh, around your ankles is a great place for applying oils, right? Um, a suboccipital, that, the suboccipital is basically where your neck and your skull come together. Cool, right? So that's an amazing roller to just have on hand, have a couple of them going, have one in your bag, have one in your kitchen, have a little container in your bathroom, make some for your friends because you want your friends to stay good and healthy too, right? Yeah, you do. So guys, that's some, how, that's some easy tips showing you how easy it can be to be using your oils. If you don't have them yet and you're going, I don't understand how to get hold of these, please reach out to me. I love helping people. And it's really important that when you get uh, your doTERRA oils that you're getting them from someone that knows what they're doing because then you're going to have the support and be able to just use them safely and effectively, right? That's really important, safe and effective use usage. And, and um, I have a masterclass coming up January 18th. It is called Oil Camp, but there's no camping involved. Don't worry. <laughs> we don't make you go in a tent in January. You can if you want. Just saying. Anyways, it's coming up on January 18th. It comes with your account with me as honestly, it's one of my favorite perks that comes with it because not only do you get tons of really useful education, you also get to meet everyone. And right now connecting with community is so really, really, really important, right? Um, and this is a great way to do it when we can't necessarily do it in the normal ways that we would. And you get to meet people from all over the world. And there's really awesome prizes. So I encourage you, I strongly encourage you to hook up with me and get yourself in that camp. Be taking your shots, be making your rollers. I want you to sail through the rest of 
2021, oh my God, it's 2021. I want it to be easy for you. I want it to be amazing for you. I want it to be so much better. I want things to just be getting better and better for you. And these tools can really, 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 really help you. All right, guys, oh, be sure to um, connect with me on Instagram. Okay, so it's Instagram.com forward slash shine on bright on. And then I think I'm going to like start throwing some stuff up onto YouTube. I did once ages ago and I haven't done it in ages. Do you think I should do that? Yeah. Okay, stay tuned. If I can get my act together with putting some of these videos up on YouTube, I'll let you know. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thanks for connecting. Shine on. Bye.